Congregation of the Franciscan Hospital Sisters of the Immaculate Conception was approved as a religious congregation on March 27, 1876, founded by Blessed Mother Maria Clara Dominino Jesus and Father Raimundo dos Anjos Bairro, two great charismatic and pious souls. Completing five fruitful decades is a major landmark and a significant milestone in the odyssey of an institution. The year 2023 year marks the golden jubilee of our esteemed institution. A jubilee is an important event that allows us to look backwards on the distance travelled and apparently to plan our journey forward. We cannot glance at the years that have gone by, but thank the Almighty God for the bounteous grace and blessings shared upon this institution. The house at Wellington was only a holiday house during the year 1935. The sisters took an active interest in the parish activities, preparing children for the Eucharistic celebration and taking care of the little orphanage that had been started for the local children who attended the parish school. In the year 1965, Commandant H. Prasad requested the parish priest Wellington to arrange for educators to take care of the DSSC Children's School at Barracks. Mother Alzira, superior of St. Isabel's Hospital, Mylapur, informed the provincial Mother Foster, who met the authorities and took charge. Reverend Sister Clotida was the headmistress. Reverend Sister Marina took care of the KG and as the music teacher. Reverend Sister Ida was a class teacher of first standard. The DSSC officers further requested the sisters to start an English medium school as the DSSC only had a primary school and was unable to upgrade it to a high school which was an inconvenience for them as they had to send the children to Kuno and Uti. Our mother, Alzira, ventured on starting an ICSE school for boys and girls which came into being on the 14th of February 1972 with classes 6, 7 and 8 with 12 students. The school was christened Holy Innocence after the ex-provincial Mother Innocence who left her home in Lisbon to work in India. The motto was Lucie et Fovere meaning to eliminate, to enlighten, to bear, to warm, to stimulate, to encourage. On the 1st of May 1972, the pre-nursery was added and classes were conducted on the convent premises. The land for the school was at Gwendolyn near Supply Depot as it was convenient. This reputed institution had gone through excruciating birth pangs. Its beginnings were humble, yet promising only because of the untiring perseverance of the Franciscan Hospitaller Sisters of the Immaculate Conception. On the 27th of October 1972, Holy Innocence had its first public function, during which the school had a strength of 103 with the addition of classes 1 and 2. This year, the school participated in its first inter-school athletic meet. In the year 1973, the boarding was set up. Miss Shoba Uttam was the first boarder and by 1976, it had 20 children, 
By 1979, the new boarding building was set up. In the year 1976, the first ICC batch appeared for the board exam with 10% result. In the year 1979, in February, the new building of the school was inaugurated with the strength of 365 students. The 80s saw the school surge ahead. Under the tenure of Sister Ilda Vaas, Sister Barbara Desmond and Sister Josephine Carvalho, the school took on a completely new look. Attitudes changed and there was an ever-widening spectrum for all-round progress. In 1980, the school participated in inter-school activities such as debate, quizzes and art and the students bagged many prizes. They were setting a hallmark for themselves. Sports teaches us discipline. An emphasis was given to the soundness of the body. Various houses were inaugurated and captains elected. In 1986, the school bagged gold in the prestigious inter-school meet of the Nilgiris English speaking school. This put the school on the map for then its fame spread far and wide. The 90s was a decade of laurels in all fields as the school started participating in debates in English and Hindi as well as in sports such as hockey football and cricket throughout the district. They had set a trademark for holy innocence. In 1991, Karan Beer Singh stood third in the country for the CAT test. Johan John ranked sixth in ICSC at national level. Catering to the needs of the society to kindle the fire in them to be at par with the trends in technology and science, the school had set up its computer lab, physics lab and chemistry lab. Students were given a learning experience which molded them as responsible citizens. Their mental well-being was given importance with value education classes to nurture their inner spirit. As the student's strength was increasing, in 2006, Reverend Sister Shirley, the then principal, took the initiative to construct an additional new building. In 2014, Principal Reverend Sister Olga laid the foundation for ISC. In 2017, under the guidance of Principal Reverend Sister Sahaya Rani, we had our first ISC batch with 12 students. 2019 to 2021, the world was struck by the pandemic. But despite of struggles and challenges, our spirit of doing good never ceased. Sister Avia Vas, the principal, ensured that the children never miss school through various activities online. Both curricular and co-curricular activities were conducted. Classes were meticulously planned. Considering the financial constraints during the pandemic, the fee structure was reduced to 50% which lightened the burden on the parents. It was during the pandemic that we knew that in spite of struggles and hardships, parents wanted their wards to be educated in holy innocence. Both teachers and students' well-being were considered during the pandemic. Care was taken that 
there was no inconvenience caused financially. In this journey, we would like to remember all the members of the fraternity, principals, administrators, teachers, support staff, students, parents and well-wishers who have worked for the welfare of the school. We fondly remember all who have left us on this journey. We feel your presence today. After the pandemic, the school came out with a new look as well as outlook. The classrooms were digitalized to foster learning. Students' well-being was given importance with regular counseling and seminars held. Co-curricular activities were held at large to rekindle the fire in the students. I have been here for three and a half decades and have put in my very best. Been totally dedicated and we have done our best for our students. My only advice to our students is to let your light shine. Go forth and conquer the world. For the past many years, the school has seen a lot of progress and it has come a long way keeping in tune to the current changes and development of the institution. The 13 years at Holy Innocence High School, a few years more, will always be a cherished part of my life. <laughs> The school has become part and parcel of my life. I have had many ups and downs, but these have made me stronger than what I was earlier. Our school Holy Innocence established in 1972, one of the best schools for overall development. I work in the school of the teachers, sisters, peons, drivers, and family. I work in the school of the path to the gate. I work in the school of 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 the school the school of the the school of the the school of the the Awarded as a Breast Principal 2021, Reverend Sister Avia Vaz, with her untiring spirit and enthusiasm, has led us to reach where we are, along with sanctifying teaching, non teaching staff, and 1,200 young minds who are the torch bearers of holy innocence. At the outset, I place before God Almighty a humble gratitude and offering of praise for all the goods that He has bestowed upon our school, the Holiness and School and Junior College for the past 50 years. Our beginning has been humble, but right through the years we have seen divine guidance and untold blessings upon this institution to what it is today. Every leader has added a milestone to the growth of the institution and I must say that I am humbled yet honored for the privilege of heading the institution this jubilee year. I carry for this great mission what my predecessors have entrusted me with and move on into the future to face greater challenges, surmount higher ambition and scale to the top fulfilling the vision of our founders. Where there is good to be done, do it. And according to our motto, let your light shine. It gives me immense pleasure and satisfaction that my daughter S. Tarunika joined this prestigious institution in the year 2010. It has been an eventful day and we felt blessed being a part of the Holy Innocence family. I must say, I have taken a right decision to choose HISJC for my daughter. Uh, I have great love and respect to all my teachers who are there right now. And also, I, have, I pray for all the departed souls. 
and I would also love to convey wishes to all my friends who were there at school, both in the country and outside the country as well. And for the students, I wish you all the very best for your future. It has been a memorable journey. Those were the beautiful days meeting excellent, excellent faculty whose thought process will always stay with me forever. A lot of what I am today is because of those panels from what I learned back then. And the only thing that I have with me is the memories and the beautiful environment that it has given me. From the entrance of my school to the back gate, everything, everything lies in my memories. I also thank Sister Ravya for giving me the best school life, um, for, for letting us enjoy our most as well as uh, discipline us. Today, as we are gathered here, witnessing our journey in the past, we pray for God's abundance of blessing and Blessed Mother Maria Clara's intercession on this institution that it continues to impart quality and holistic development to the children. Where there is good to be done, do it.